Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheka.com here with a Photoshop Beginners Tutorial. Today we're going to go over a request from a user named RafJan111 and he was just asking if we could make a tutorial on how to make a weird fire effect and he gave us a link to an image that looked like this and I don't know if there's much to say about it it's just a nifty little fiery kind of effect with some cool coloring to it and it's not all too hard to create you just need two things one of which is actually not required it's this lighter image right here and if you want to use this exact lighter it's not really a big deal all you have to do is type in lighter into Google and under the images if you go to the the large images it's actually on the first page right here so see the full size image as you can see it's this image right here and it's got the little water droplets on it if you look here you can see little water droplets on here they're the exact same image so if you want go ahead and save this to your desktop and cut it out in Photoshop or whatever but I went ahead and saved you the trouble of cutting it out and made a Photoshop file of this thing masked so Feel free to go to chichicheka.com and download that PSD file. And so the second thing you're going to need in order to make this effect is some kind of brush. Believe it or not, this is not actually the pen tool or something like that, kind of like Rafjan was thinking. He said, is that only pen tool? The answer is no, that is some kind of brush. So what I decided to do was to go into Google and I typed in fire brush Photoshop and I went to the first thing here and it's got some nifty fire brushes that you can download for free and you just click this link right here and it'll give you you know the click here to start download link or whatever from Mediafire to get the the fire brushes and you can just put those into Photoshop on your own and so let's jump right into this and I'm gonna go ahead and open up my PSD file that I cut out the lighter in okay so the first thing we're gonna need to do is go to this vignette layer right here and give it a click just to select it and we're gonna make two new layers by hitting the create a new layer icon down here twice and that should make two layers underneath our lighter and we're just gonna fill this layer in with black by going over here to the paint bucket tool on the left hand side and make sure that your foreground color is set to black and just give this a click right here and that should fill this up with black and then I'm just gonna put that back to the gradient tool just because you know keeps things default looking over there and we're gonna go to the second layer that we created and we're going to head to the brush tool by hitting the letter B. And to access your fire brush, you're going to have to go to this little drop down menu right here and click this arrow that's pointing off to the right. And you're going to want to click your fire brushes or whatever the name of the file was. And when you give that a click, it'll ask you if you want to replace the current brush set and just hit OK and the fire brush that I'm going to use is this one right here I'm gonna give that a double click and before I paint it I'm gonna swap this over to white in the bottom left hand corner and now I'll be able to give that a click and that should paint my fire for me as you can tell this isn't exactly very high contrast uh, if you look at the example picture you can see that you have a little bit of highlights in here and we'd like to recreate those so we're gonna have to give this a, a little bit of an adjustment so I'm gonna grab my move tool and I'm gonna select both of these layers by control clicking the second layer below it and I'm gonna merge them together by hitting control E since I'm on a PC if you're on a Mac go ahead and hit command E and that should merge them together and you're going to go up to edit oh sorry it's not edit you actually want to go to image adjustments levels 
and that's Control L for a PC or Command L on a Mac. And you're pretty much just gonna drag this white slider off to the left, and that'll make your whites whiter. So it's all a little bit of tinkering. I like it right about there, but I want some more darks in here in the in the more smoky fire. So I'm gonna drag my middle slider right here a little bit off to the right, and right about there should be good for me so you get a nice variety of blacks and grays and whites so once you think you have a nice little contrast there go ahead and hit OK and we're gonna turn this a little bit so it's actually matching the the direction of the lighter so I'm gonna go to edit free transform or control T for a shortcut or command T if you're on a Mac and go ahead and click and drag outside one of these corners to turn it and I'm gonna size it down by putting my arrow on one of these corners and holding alt and shift and dragging it inward and I'm just gonna reposition this as I size it down and that's actually looking pretty good to me right there so I'm gonna hit the check mark right here so that I can get out of my transform tool and I wanna get rid of this black so I'm gonna head over to my layer and I'm gonna put it in a group by hitting control G and I'm just gonna go ahead and name it fire while I'm at it and change the blend mode from pass through to screen right there and that should make everything show through the black and what we're going to take care of next is we're going to give it the coloring that we saw in the picture. And that's not really all that hard. All you're going to do is go to the layer again and give it an effect that's a gradient overlay. You see where it says gradient? Go ahead and click on the box and click on this little rainbow pattern right here. And we'll just hit OK and I'm gonna put the scale down a little bit to maybe around 60 percent or so and change the blend mode to color and now we get that red fiery ends right there and we'll hit OK and we're just gonna close this up so if you wanna put a little bit of coloring on the end of the lighter right here then you're just gonna go up to the lighter and create a new layer I'm just gonna call it glare I can't really think of a better name for it. And since the the last color that you see in the fire is red, I'm gonna change my foreground color to more of a red. And we'll hit OK. And I'm gonna change my brush tool to the, the default settings. So hit the letter B to bring up your brush tool. And we'll go to the drop down menu, go off to the side menu. And we're gonna reset our brushes and just hit OK. And I'm going to use this first brush right here, but I'm going to size it up a little bit. And that's still not big enough. Size it up a little bit more. Just keep playing with it. And that looks about right. So give that a click right about in the middle of the lighter right there. And we're just going to change the blend mode to color down here at the bottom of the list. And as you can see, that's giving a little too much color so we're gonna put the opacity down to about 50 percent and you're getting a little bit of color on the background too so if you want to get rid of that then put your arrow between the glare layer and the lighter layer and if you hold alt then you get this little icon and if you give that a click that'll keep it uh, within the the pixels of the lighter layer so it won't show up on your background and we're pretty much done. So I'm hoping you guys were able to create some pretty nifty fire. And if you guys have any questions about this effect, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below this video. And as always, if you have a tutorial request, feel free to send us a message. We'll take a look at it. And hopefully, your tutorial request will be made into a tutorial pretty soon. So, thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.